and it's too long. It's kind of chilly. Oh. Hey. <laughs> How y'all doing? It's been so long, it's literally been like seven-ish months around that. Last month was August, or was it September? September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Eight months. <laughs> it's been eight months since the last time I posted. And I just want to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shawty got a little busy throughout these last eight months. And let me put y'all on right now. Let me put y'all on. Oh. So basically a lot of things happened, um, first starting off with, um, I started off my senior year, you know, second week of school, my friend Marilyn gets me a job, shout out to Marilyn, Shadi gets me a job, and while we are working together, she had volleyball practice and games, like, almost every day, because it was volleyball season, so I was kind of stuck working every day, which I didn't mind, because that's what I wanted, I wanted a job, I was, I was really mad at the beginning, I was like, they really put me in all these days, da da da, whatever, but, the point is that I got a job and I had I had to work almost every day in the beginning and I was really upset about it because usually like when you first start a job like they give you just a couple days these guys gave me five I would say four to six days a week and for someone starting off that's kind of a lot especially going into senior year and then homework is crazy so while I was working I was just saving all my money because I didn't want to spend it on like random dumb stuff and I was like what's the point of working and I'm not saving my money so I was just saving my money because I really wanted to buy myself a car even though I didn't have a license at the time I was really determined to get that car so I just saved all my money saved all my money saved all my money and then for the next few months I was just so into work I was working almost every day in October I kind of took it easy I was working like three days a week but it was also my birthday, so. But um, I turned 17. I'm a little growner now. I say that like you could actually do something at 17. Like I'm not legal, so <laughs> why was I so hyped? Anyway, so I turned 17 in October. Thanksgiving came around, Christmas came around, New Year's came around, all these different holidays. And I just told myself, I was like, <laughs> like I really need to post on YouTube, but. I'm like, I'm really busy and I just told myself I was so busy and I couldn't do anything. Like, I didn't even have time to do my homework. What makes you think I had time to film and edit a YouTube video? No. January hit and then coronavirus struck. Mostly just in Asia and Europe and then it started to happen here and then February started spreading and then March they canceled school, which I was really sad about because the week I got, okay, let's tell the story. March 2nd, which was a Monday, I got home from school just like every other day and I was, I was rushing because I had to get to work and my mom tells me, she's like, I have good news and I was just kind of like, what? Like I didn't really like pay attention to what she was saying. I had my driving test scheduled for March 31st, just to let y'all know. She tells me that my driving school called and said that they have a bunch of open appointments for this Friday if you want to take any and, I, and she was like i waited to i waited she waited until i got home from school to like tell them like if i <sighs> i don't know what was going on with me basically what i was trying to say is that my mom let me make the decision because at the end of the day i was the one taking the test if i didn't feel ready then i didn't have to say yes but i did end up saying yes because i felt ready it's just that by the time i scheduled it probably in january that was the closest one they had in like Mar the end of march so i ended up picking the end of march but then they called and said if you wanted to take it at the beginning of march so i took the opportunity and that took my test so she waited until i got home from school and i literally said yes please right now i called them right away and i said please yes give me an appointment for i said 10 45 i think it was or 10 30 ish because it was an hour away from my house and my brother was driving me. Basically, I put it for 10.30 so that I would have time to practice in the morning. I, well, Wednesday night, I get out of work and I'm talking to my mom and my dad. My brother was gonna come home from school on Thursday, probably around 5, 
four something around there four or five o'clock and if i went to school i would have been going into work at four o'clock and getting on at nine o'clock and no one was going to practice driving with me at nine o'clock like i wouldn't even do that but what i did was i skipped school thursday i took the morning shift and then i basically i could practice driving for a couple hours at night when my brother got home and then everyone all my friends were calling me at school why aren't you at school i know you're not at work right now da, 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 da. it was worth it so i'm sorry for skipping school but it was worth it i get out of work my brother and i are driving for hours da, 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 whatever and they say you know what they say like before your sats and for the first day of school or before like you have something important get a good night's sleep do all this and that I went to bed at 2 o'clock because I had to get an assignment done by 11.59. I was doing it with my friends and then if we're just on FaceTime, we're just going to keep talking. I ended up going to sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I woke up really early. I wake up at 7 a.m. I think they asked me to come in at 10. Originally, they had asked me what appointment I wanted. I picked 10.30 because, um, like I said, I wanted to give myself time to practice it the morning of the test. But... I called them the day before just to ask if I had to bring in any paperwork or anything and they said no but they also asked me to um, come in at 10 because they had they had such a big gap so that's why I said that so I was like okay ruin my plans a little bit because not have to wake up earlier but it's fine I get ready my brother and I leave the house I think by 7 45 but 8 ish something like that when we get there it's like 8 45 we go get like donuts and coffee somewhere I forgot where it was it was like a local like a little coffee place I just started driving around like in random like parking lots there was a school parking lot literally right next to the driving school so I thought I was gonna have to park in there but I didn't because the parking lots they were really you know how some parking lots are like straight and like they were like this so they didn't make me park in there thank god but i was practicing there anyway because freaking smart i just practiced drove around like literally the entire like up and down the street every single street around the driving school just because i didn't know where they were going to bring me so it was probably like 9 15 around this and i had this brilliant idea i don't know who i thought i was like i thought i was really einstein with this idea like it's not that deep i had this brilliant idea yep to just go to the driving school because there were people already taking their tests going back and forth and i was like kevin why don't we just follow one of them so we know the route if i need help with something like i'll just practice it really quickly and then we'll go so we go in the parking lot we end up following someone i tell him to stay like behind because my car is not tinted at all so the guy could probably see us but he didn't even care he was some old guy he was so nice the girl who was taking it parked in a in a public library that's what it was okay so after that we go into the gym school i kind of like sign in and do whatever i gotta do they tell me like after this boy you can go and i was like okay i was in line the boy that was in front of me he was like he's ready for you and i was like okay like i walk in feel like the man i'm just my seat just my mirror to take my test pass i told my brother before before i drive he's already gonna know which car it is because it says like a it's wrapped all around the car like the driving school it says student driver i think so I told my brother to follow right behind me. The speed limit where I live everywhere pretty much is like 25. So I was scared that I was gonna go above the speed limit, especially when people are going right behind me. I don't like that because then it makes me nervous and I feel like I have to go faster. And my biggest fear was that I was gonna just go over the speed limit. So I told my brother to be go right behind me, but don't go right behind me. Go like a little bit behind, but make sure that nobody goes behind me, if that makes any sense. But it didn't even matter because the speed limit there was 35. But anyway. I passed my test. The guy told me I passed my test. I went back in, and me and my brother was like, ah, "I passed, like, oh, it's lit, like." Ah. My brother and I were both excited because once I got my license, the car was mine. Basically, my brother was just using it because I didn't have my license yet, so there was no point of keeping the car in the garage. So my brother brought it to college with him, so I would get the car, and then my brother would get his own car. So we were both excited that basically we were getting our own car, so you can drive we have our brother we call my mom <laughs> we tried to prank her <laughs> and i was like ma i just failed and she was like and she was like oh no way like she was so sad and i was like i'm just lying look at this pass i just passed and since it was with a driving school i didn't get my license like on a paper the same day i had to go to the dmv so but they said the soonest i could get it was the next day since it was friday the dmv is open on saturday morning but the next morning i had a competition in my school and i had to be there around the same time i get to school normally which is around 7 7 30 ish and it would end around 12 o'clock the dmv is open from 8 from 8 to 12 on saturday so i couldn't go after the competition but if i went before 
it was just gonna be crazy because in my city i live two seconds away from my dmv everybody from all the neighboring towns goes to that dmv so obviously the dmv is always um crazy like everybody knows that so i went to school i got there around 7 15. basically i was a patient it was a host of competition i was a patient so i had to be in the room at 10 45 and I was like, I can go to the DMV right now and just I'll be back before 1045. So I went to tell my teacher, I was like, miss, I'm gonna go to the DMV and I'll be right back. Like I'll be I'll be back before 1045, I promise you. I'm sorry I speak really fast, but I told my teacher that I was gonna go to the DMV and I was gonna be back before 9.45. And she was like, okay, yeah, no problem, like just go. And then I went to the DMV with my brother and it was a fat line i got there at 7 35 i was standing in line my boy my brother went to go park the car he came in with me and i was shivering like crazy i was like Ugh. i was literally in the line so my brother was like go go wait in the car and i was like okay so shout out to kevin my man he was just standing in the in the line and then it was like 7 55 or something like that and the doors were starting to open so he was like yo come real quick da -da -da, whatever so i go in line right next to my brother and i get my paper and then i'm just sitting there waiting and at 8.45, the thing opened at 8, so we were waiting there for 45 minutes. At 8.45, I remember getting, I was um, getting my license, and he was like, take a picture. I was like, <laughs> I look so crazy. But anyways, the point is that I took my picture, I got my license. It was like 8.50ish, 9 o'clock-ish, something like that, when I left the DMV. So I dropped my brother at home, and then I went straight to school because I had to be in the competition room. It was probably like 9.20 by the time I got to school. I had to be in the competition room at- I'm sorry, it was 9.45, not 10.45. I'm so sorry, I suck at telling stories. I went a little hard there, but I do suck at telling stories. I start from the end and then go back to the beginning and then go to the middle and then go back to the- like a whole different story and a different day and then go back to the end. So... I don't know why I'm doing story time, but I am. And I changed my clothes because I was wearing some like- we had to wear like fancy like a button up, a white button up with black pants. So I changed my clothes because since I was a patient, that was not going to be comfortable at all. So I changed into some sweats and a t-shirt. I did the whole competition. I ended up leaving school around 11.45ish. I think it was around 11.45, almost 12 o'clock. And I go to Dunkin' because I wanted coffee. I just go home. My parents were in New York that day. They were in New York before I even left school. So they were like drive safe they're not being all scary but i was fine you know freaking pro nascar racer already who won't tell it they went to new york the whole day pretty much so i was going to one of my cousin's birthday parties that same day on saturday so i had just a full fat day like that day that saturday i woke up at five o'clock in the morning and i went to sleep at like two o'clock it was crazy like i i was just so tired the entire day the point of my story is that i got my license right so then that weekend the next like monday i had to go to school so monday tuesday wednesday thursday i was driving to school i felt like a baddie in my little honda coupe i worked monday tuesday and wednesday but thursday i was gonna go study with one of my friends after school we had to go get a project done as soon as i got home mom was telling me that they just declared a state emergency in connecticut because of corona so i was like damn let's like, this really sucks it's my senior year like i was being so like selfish there's hundreds of thousands of people dying and i was just thinking about my senior year but senior year has already been taken away from me don't even worry about it anymore i just started driving like they never want to see me win i was ex i was actually excited to go to school because i was driving and i was like i had something to look forward to you know my mom told me i couldn't go to work as soon as I got home on Thursday, I told mom there's no school on Friday and she was like, well, that means you can't go to work either. And I was like, so I can't drive to school, can't drive to work, can't hang out with my friends. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just sit in my house and do nothing. So yeah, my life has been kind of boring for the past three weeks. I don't know. I've just been doing nothing but online school on my little Chromebook that they assigned to us. So the other day, like, or last week, I think it was, I started watching YouTube again and then I forgot how fun it could be. I was like, wow. Like, they look like they're having so much fun. So I was like, I need to make a video and come back to the world. I miss doing this, so I'm gonna continue. I'm coming back seven months later. Throughout these seven months, basically, my updates was that I got a job, I got my license, I lost a couple friends, but that's fine, it don't matter. And I lost 20 pounds. And I don't know if you guys can tell my face is a lot skinnier now, because I used to walk back and forth at work all the time for hours in front of a hot oven. That's my life. I got a couple questions on one of my videos. Moving into my apartment in the Dominican Republic, a lot of people ask me if I live there. I do not live there. I live in Connecticut 
in the USA, but my mom bought an apartment in Dominican Republic for renting it out, one, and plus like when we go to visit. So yeah, I guess that's my little story time, my little life update. I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands to be doing all this. They just canceled school till May 20th, it's currently April 10th, but um, ooh, look at that highlight. <gasps> Who is she? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.